Well, hello there. This is Kathy Crow at the Crow Cottage. Um, it's a beautiful day. It's very hot. I just came back from Spokane a few days ago and really enjoyed my time there because they're about 10 degrees cooler always than the Tri-City. So I think Jeff, Jeff came up and joined me um, on... Uh, Hi, Mary. It's good to see you. Uh, anyway, Jeff came up to join me on Thursday. It was supposed to be 111 here that day. Ah, I was so glad I was missing it. But it was pretty warm up there too, so I just had to get up early and get all my stuff done, and, and it was fun. All right, so I am going to be working on today, um, Autumn Goodness. This is what I'm doing. And this is a really cool set. You're gonna like that. I think I think it'll be fun, whatever it is that um, I do. I think you might might enjoy doing that. And um, let me see what I, oh, I do need to do the drawing. and I um Linda's gonna join me probably later. Uh, oh, okay. This is it seems like a Tuesday, Mary is the time that that's always happening, huh? So Tuesday's probably not the greatest day for you. I hope that um, I hope this brightens it up a little bit because that would be really difficult to go through. All right, um, just praying that um, you know our our audience stays healthy because uh, and I'm not talking just about my audience. I'm talking about all of us stamping up people. There's a whole bunch of us who do things like this. So. Um, praying that we all stay healthy and um, and it seems to me more doable than it did when this began I was more concerned about it then and I'm much much less concerned about it now because we've actually known many people who've got it and recovered and it wasn't a very big deal for them so um, I'm that that's that's encouraging hear those stories but um, to actually know people that that happened to and some of them elderly so Anyhow, I am going to do the drawing, and um, uh, Linda, you had a question, and I'm going to get to it. I just haven't had time to read it, so you'd mes message me. So just let just letting you know, I'm going to get to that. <laughs> I have seen it because sometimes stuff disappears, especially when you share the page with your spouse. Because this is actually Kathy Crow's cards is actually just off an offshoot of Jeff Crow's page. My husband is the one who who joined Facebook years and years and years ago just so he could connect with his high school buddies and um I vowed I would never have anything to do with the Facebook. <laughs> and then I started doing this and thought I'd have I'd have to. Um Oh, I'm glad you didn't miss me, Freddie. Thank you for joining me. Appreciate that so much, you guys. Um it makes doing this uh, fun. I would hate doing this otherwise. This is just not my style, but um, because you are with me, it makes it so much more fun. I can laugh and joke about it. And, and it's really, it's it's nice, you know, when you're sitting home and making stuff and it doesn't turn out, it's like, man, you know, it's easy to get down on yourself. Uh, when I'm doing it with you guys, you always make me feel better. <laughs> That's like, sweet, thank you. <laughs> I need that. All right, so here we go. I am doing the drawing. This is for last week's. I keep looking out the window to see has it gotten any cooler out there no it's still really hot I've got my little fan on me this time so maybe maybe this time I won't get quite so hot but my face is starting out pretty red so I'm not sure what it's gonna look like when <laughs> when I'm done it'll be red I'm sure okay Freddie congratulations you won it's nice to have you come along out the hurricane oh we didn't have a hurricane did we have a hurricane and I didn't hear it because right now with the news media the way it is um, you, you know, stuff could supposedly happen that never happened, and then stuff could really be bad happening, and, uh, crickets, crickets. All right, so, Freddie, congratulations, and I will get that, and I think, Freddie, I actually sent you an extra one because I'd forgotten, I, it was Linda, and anyway, there was confusion, but, hey, you know, a prize is a prize, you can never have too many of those, right? They're sweet. <laughs> Thank you for sharing, Trudy. Appreciate it. So, Trudy, stay in there, okay, because you're going to get your turn, too. There aren't that many of us, you know. Everybody should be having a chance to win. Now, I am going to put my camera, um, two little rain showers, okay, on the west coast. Huh, okay. <laughs> Our East Coast, West Coast, East Coast. Are you va vacationing? And I didn't know it? <laughs> All right, I better get going before I get sidetracked on that. I do have some funny Babylon Bee things for us today, I hope, if I get to it. Um, and I do need to, you know, again, my videos, they never show up on my actual page. 
I can, they think when you when you, when you are the one that's um, running the page, it's like um, they think that you don't want to see anything that's actually happening on it ever in like live time, because I can hit the video button on Kathy Crow's cards page numerous times. And nothing changes. It just keeps coming to nothing, nothing, nothing. So I'll keep working on that. It's going to take me just a minute to get my camera oriented. So I won't see your comments here for a while because I'm going to be um, trying to get the camera to see the desk and not my lamp. And and uh, so I kind of adjusted my camera a little bit, hoping that it would make things better. And I'm not sure that it actually did, but... Anyway, so excuse my reach across. I'm still working on this so that I can see your see your comments. And somebody had said that um, that they plugged in a headset with a microphone and they could be heard better. But my voice is fairly loud, so I think, come on, YouTube. I know I'm here. You know, I. <laughs> Unless, unless there's like a, an alternate universe with a cat. And ha, speaking alternate universe, you're going to laugh about this. And you probably already knew it, but I just discovered there is another Kathy Crow in Stampin' Up! Spelled exactly the same way. And when I was on our demonstrator page looking at um, the new release information about... Uh, the catalog going live because of course our let me grab it really quick since I'm still not seeing my video it's very annoying um this is not it that was last year so this is it and um so this catalog is going to be available for everybody to order from I'm sure everybody has seen it it's not like I've got any oh come on I keep clicking and it's like <laughs> For heaven's sake, let me go to page and see, because I can't really get started until I see. Well, there I am. Imagine that. There you are. There's the catalog. So that's good. Get that going. Click that sound off. How annoying that is. Okay, west coast of Florida. Okay, thank you, Freddie. Gotcha. Um, there are, there are two Kathy Crows and spelled exactly the same way. And I'm not sure, I kind of forget where she's from, but it's far away from me. It's like more to, in Freddie's direction, I think. And you're, you too, might have even been, I don't think it was Virginia, but you might check into that, Linda. <laughs> anyway, um, she had made a comment and so, oh, I'm probably not supposed to be showing the inside. I'm kind of giving you a little sneak peek there, but it's cool. There's a lot of nice things. And today's um, offering is from this catalog. So I have loved some of the things that are on here. They're so pretty. This autumn goodness is fun, fun, fun. So I um, do not have my uh, my sh my um, magnetic sheets that I ordered from Amazon, and I'm not doing that again. I've talked to Jeff about how we can wean ourselves from ever purchasing from Amazon again because we are Amazon Prime customers because we watch almost all of our TV online so and we like old TV shows and it's really easy to access old TV shows on Amazon you can get all kinds of old stuff like from Andy Griffith and you can do that on Hulu too so um, it's not like Amazon is the only game in town but we do watch a lot of old British mysteries like from the Acorn um, website, which we, and I was just thinking, you know what, I bet you it might cost us a little more, but we could probably watch all of our old TV shows and our British mysteries from the, uh, BBC and the Acorn. Uh, we could probably watch those on their online service and just pay to them. And again, it'll pay more and I won't get free shipping because that's really been my, only reason for doing Amazon Prime. But after hearing the testimony from the uh, media companies, including Bezos, I decided, you know what? These guys, these are evil guys. I am not, they, they hate the United States. They're making money off us while trying to um, ramrod things through. And they bought a lot of politicians, apparently. So anyhow, now you've heard my Amazon rant and I'll stop. The only thing is that... Um, 
these sheets come pre-cut, so I will have to purchase them from a craft place and cut them all out and stick them on, which I can do. So that, I think, is what I will be doing. This set has enough that it doesn't really quite fit. It kind of almost does, but as you can see, they're, they're off. And because it's not the strongest magnet, it's not like the more expensive ones that you can get through the stamp and storage thing. Those are really sturdy. These are not as strong or as sturdy. So they are a lot cheaper. So that's why I'm using them because they're, they're adequate for me. But I do need another one so that everything fits well. I need it on this side. <laughs> Enough ranting on that. So today, oh, I forgot to go to the store and get a cute little, I was going to get a cute little, you know, something to stick in our wheelbarrow. Because I thought, well, we'll try doing a wheelbarrow today. And then I've got a couple of cards. So the wheelbarrow die is really cute. And I think I'll just start on that right away. So I, I'm going to use both these. This is the one that just embosses and cuts. This one actually in, cuts out the, the stamp. And we're gonna, I'm going to use that stamp. This one cuts the stamp out perfectly. This one, now I don't know why they did it this way, but it, they did. Oh, she's not as cute. Thank you, Freddie. <laughs> saw that. Uh, well, <laughs> and you saw it too, Mary. Oh, pouring rain. Ooh, Linda. That might, I see, I wouldn't mind that too bad. But Freddie, where you are, and if it's a hurricane rain, I don't want that. That would probably ruin my garden. Now, this stamp will work. I mean, this embossing thing, it's going to work, but it does not cut the wheelbarrow out perfectly but it's as you can see it cuts it out close enough it's um it's fine and so um anyway uh, actually it does it does a really good job you just it cuts a little more rather than less although i guess it might lose the lip a little bit there but not too bad and anyway it's cute so it works i hate it when they have dot stamps and then their embossing thing doesn't really quite work with what what they've got going there so let me get all of my little pieces i've got kind of like uh stuff all sort of mixed up here normally i try to get this organized a bit better and today i i'm ashamed to say that i didn't didn't really even attempt to organize and my pad i think is wet good because i'm a little I'm a little off-centered today because I did just get back from vacationing. So, hurricanes going up the East Coast. See, I have just not even been paying attention to a lot of the news. It's been um, either bad news or inaccurate news, to, and that's putting it kindly. All right, so I'm going to use Pretty Peacock. No? Yes. I think I'm using Pretty Peacock. And I'm actually for our wheelbarrow, I'm going to use the, um, um, I'm going to use pool party. I think I'm okay to just use this piece. I don't think that one's saved for anything. We'll find out if it was. And I'll get my plastic off and put it away before I lose it. I do lose it quite often that little plastic that's on top of this it's clear so once I peel it all the way off I usually don't peel it off because I'm afraid I'm gonna I'm gonna lose it so I'm going to do now you could use your um, your stamp apparatus just to make sure you're getting a good impression of this wheelbarrow but it actually goes it goes pretty good I'm gonna do I actually need I do need two but I also need to get out, where are you? Here you are, here. I need to get out our little silicone. Is this silicone? Silicone, silicone craft sheet. And I have a few because I lost them, but they're all different thicknesses, which makes me think maybe they were part of a pack. And I haven't been using these properly, I bet. It says one, there was one in there. But I know I reordered it once. Now, this is very spongy, so I'm thinking this might be an embossing tool. This one's super thin, so I think that's an embossing tool also. This is like this is like the Mama Bear and Papa Bear 
you know, this chair was too soft, this one too hard, this one just right. Well, this one is the one that's just right. So it's not too thick, not too thin, but it does have some, it does have some embossing powder on it. So let me wipe that down because I don't want it to have anything on it. I'm going to use it to do a, a reversed, a reversed stamped image. So in order to do the wheelbarrow. Okay, so I'm hoping that stays clean over there. Let me get rid of this ink. I'm gonna push the camera up. It seems like it's just easier for me to drag my um, cutting machine over to the camera rather than switching the camera over to, to it. I just have to kind of make a space, make a space, okay. All right, so put that in there. And I saw that when we get our new cutting machine, I am going to not have to buy plates right away. So I'm happy about that. But I also saw that we weren't going to be allowed to buy a magnetic one. I wasn't happy about that. I like my magnetic plate so we'll be able to buy the magnetic plate when in September so I'll just have to wait until then but I'm not too happy about it because it's like come on you guys why not even just why even release it if you can't get everything now you can see that um, it goes up and beyond but it does at least include everything then I'll just use the scissors to to snip that extra. So I'm very happy with this wheelbarrow die. It's cute. Let me get it on there. Oops, I bumped it. When we were in Spokane, every year we go to Spokane, or uh, not every year, I go, I go, you know, maybe three times a year because my son lives there. And, um, and my sister lives there and, you know, I have other family nearby too. But, um, I was, I never found a really good coffee place until this time. This trip, my sister took me to a coffee place that was great. I'm very grateful to her. All right, so let me get my things out of the way and put this here. Now we'll get the silicone sheet out and I'm gonna put the camera down a little bit. And we'll see how this goes. I'm hopeful. I better, I better do my little snipping before, before I ink it up, because I want that to not show an edge. Okay, there we go. Get those out of the way. All right, let's see. I'm missing some things. Hey, Rena, it's nice to see you. Uh, Hurricane is uh, Isaiah's. How do you I uh, how do you say it? Oh, it's a uh, it's uh, English. It's Isaiah. Means God is our salvation. Well, that's nice. I'm certainly glad that somebody's trying to point people to God. That's God. who who let that slip through. <laughs> I only need to reverse stamp one. Um, because as you can see with our little wheelbarrow, um, this side is the only one, and this one's kind of flubbed. I'm hoping I can do a better job on it. Um, this side is the only one that needs to, to be. So we only need, I'll look at them and see, well, which one do I like the best? And we'll put, we'll put the one that I like the best here. That one's going to be, you know, the one I keep. And then this one is going to be the one that I'm going to try to do a reversed stamp thing. Um, yes, Rena, I sell all the kits for all of this stuff if you want to, if you want to do anything. Um, uh, I'll just um, send a message to you later, or you can go to um, my stamp store. But if you want it as a kit, you know, with everything you need for the products, then um, let me just send it to you. And because uh, uh, it's purely by, most people who do this kind of know what they want because they already have a bunch of supplies. So they don't want everything, you know. But um, you can pick and choose what you need. All right, so I'm gonna just ink the, 
So thank you for asking, Rena. That's a really good question. It's probably one that I should regularly address, but I don't think to because I'm just not really doing this for stamping, uh, for selling necessarily, although it's sweet and I like it. It's good. All right, so um, I'm going to stamp this on here, just telling you what I'm doing. This silicone sheet, I'm going to stamp it on, and I'm going to pretty quickly just lay this right on there and hope that my transfer works well. And this is an, you know, one of those iffy kind of techniques. It sometimes works great, and it sometimes not so great. So I'll try to get my wheel on there where I want it. And I think where I flubbed before was the the handle. And I see that some of I it's not placed perfectly, but I'm going to just rub it all over, hoping that that, that image transfers nicely. See a little quick little brayer. Did it go? And now we will flip it up and other than where my nail kind of snubbed it there a bit, it's actually pretty good. That one worked pretty well. So you can see if you compare, let me clean this really quick. I'll just use my baby wipe on that and put that little guy back in here because I, I do have a tendency to lose these. Then I have to rebuy, which is never fun. It's like, where? I know I bought one. I know it's here somewhere. Can't find it. All right. Okay, so let me put this down and then you can compare a little bit how this looks. But if you want to reverse the image, this is the, this is the best way to do it. And when we have a stamp like with an animal looking in a particular direction, it's always really cute to do that same animal reversed look so they can look at each other. So it's valuable to be able to do this. But um, I, here's the one that I stamped just straight down and here's the one that is stamped with the um, reversed image and so you can see the detailing's not quite as perfect. Now I do have to say in um, in defense of myself I guess I did emboss. So partly the reason this is kind of iffy is that, that uh, this die actually put embossed wood ridges in there. So if I had not cut it out with this die it actually would look more like this. It would be stronger lines and look pretty close to what you get. It actually, when you do it that way, it looks very close, but I'm good with it. It's going to be fine. All right, so I took a little piece of, um, I'm gonna just take a little piece. Where's my, oh, I already used it, so I'll use this. Take another little piece of pool party and I'm gonna cut a three inch. Let's go three inches by two and a half inches. Okay, it's gonna be just a tiny, tiny little cute wheelbarrow. And I need my other cutter because this one has a score blade on it. Okay, now on the center point, the center point of two and a half is gonna be one and a quarter. So from there, what I'm gonna do is just, I'm gonna just mark it one and a quarter so I know where that center line is. All right, and then I am going to take this and do a, I'm gonna put, put where the center is. I hope you can see what I'm doing because I kind of moved out of the frame a little, I think. I'm putting the point that I just made here and then I'm gonna put this corner on Hmm, did I mark where I put it? I don't think I did. Maybe like at one, I'm gonna put this corner at, no, I want it to be more of a sharp angle than that. I actually don't want it to be on this. I, I'm gonna score a line so I've got my box kind of folded as a, rect, as a triangle. So what I'm gonna do is put this I think we'll go for one and three quarter here and we'll try it out and see what has seems small. I want to have my box be about this big. So maybe I'll use this. I'll use this corner as my guide. So I'll put this corner at two inches, putting that center right there. And then I'm going to, oops, my score came out there. And then I'm going to score that. And then I am going to just flip this over. And we'll do the same thing. Put the point right there. 
put that right there at one and a quarter, or three quarters, excuse me, three quarters, and we'll go like that. So that gives me this little rectangle. And then I'm gonna use, um, I'm gonna do um, like, oh, let me see here, what did I do? I think I need at this point just a little, like a one quarter, this is gonna be kind of a funky box, but I'm doing a score line there at one quarter inch. And then at this one, I'm gonna use my wheelbarrow to kind of see how long do I want you. I want you to be about there. So how big are you, wheelbarrow? You are about, about two inches. It could be a little bit bigger than two inches, but not much more than that. And we've got three, so we're gonna do we're gonna score, score it. We've got, um, I think I'll score it at about three quarters of an inch right here. We'll see if it's big enough. Hopefully it will be. Okay, so that was a three quarter score right there. And then to, now I'm gonna just see how is this gonna work. All right. So I want it to fold up. And I think I'm going to have to use my little snips right here. And snip, snip. So I'm going to just snip right there where that fold is and fold all that up. And then this is going to be the front of my little wheelbarrow. Oh, my measurements must have been off a tad because that's slightly bigger. So we'll put that one on the outside. Oh, it's bigger on that side then. So I, my center line must have been off just a tad. Let me just snip off that rectangle. So as you're doing a box, let me move this down so you can see what I'm doing. When you're doing a box, you're kind of trying to fit it to a funky shape because you want it to be like for this wheelbarrow. Because we have all kinds of stamps that are really cool to make little boxes and you just put, you just stick the image, you know, on it. Um, it's okay if your box is kind of funky, it'll be fine. Just, you can make it work. So you can see I kind of need to snip there. I'm sort of just doing this to show you that it's okay to, to mess around with it. You don't have to always have, a, have instructions for everything. If you, have inst if you have instructions, great. But sometimes you are going to want to make things. Now see that one is a little bit neater here. So I'm going to make this one the 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 one that's overlapping in the front. And then you can you can kind of make your own things and not have to not have to rely on the big wigs for everything. Right? Okay. Oops, 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 oops. Don't glue. There you go. Now you can glue. Let's grab a little clothespin here. All right, so that's going to be for there. And now I want to make my, um, I want to make a back, right? But I don't want it to, I don't want it to necessarily be there, although it could be, I suppose. So we'll just snip here and here. Okay, and fold those in. And fold this up. And it's just a hair taller than I want it to be. So I will, I'll glue it and then I'll fix that. All right, so don't be afraid to make, make mistakes on this stuff. This is how, how you do it. <laughs> and I could have done this like multiple times to get it perfect to show you, but, um, to be honest, I didn't have time to do that. I uh, just got back, like I said, last week had a great time in Spokane and um, didn't have time to spend um, hours doing this little, this little box. So I figured, yeah, it's okay. You guys can see um, how, how you do things without um, um, a pattern already in, in mind that somebody else has done for you. Okay, I'm gonna set this aside just for a minute because I want that to be glued really well before we complete that wheelbarrow. Now I can do the wheels, okay, might as well. I'm gonna use some gray and there's this little cute wheel. 
Oops, did I clean my wheelbarrow? I don't think I did. Let's clean that. We are done with you. Okay, there we go. And we've got grab just a little block for the wheelbarrow wheel. And there is a die for um, in here. There's a die that cuts out the wheel. There's also a die that cuts out a perfect little wheel, which I toyed with doing, but I, I, there's a lot of pressure on the front, you know, coming down on that. So I decided I think, um, I think I'm gonna stick with this wheel and use this stamp. So let's just do the, um, I could reverse the stamp on a new one and then use the thinlet to cut it on the back. Oh, Freddie, I didn't even think of that. What a dope I am. <laughs> That would have been good. That would have been brilliant, in fact. That would look a lot better. I'm gonna do four. I could do the same thing Freddie just said, but I wanna make sure that um, we have um, some fairly sturdy wheels, so I'm gonna glue those together rather than doing the reverse thing, because you could do the same thing, although with this, you wouldn't even need to worry about it. It's just a circle anyway. All right, so let me run that through. Put this up here so you can see what's going on. And I'm gonna have to run this through a few times since I've got four little wheels going. Okay, you can see you don't have to run it through all the way. I just need to get that wheel out. Stick you there so I don't lose you. Hmm, yeah, we don't um, get a lot of rain in the summer in, in the Tri-Cities. It's dry, very dry. Nice and sunny, usually. Here, if you, if a lot of times if it does get rainy, it can get really um, um, muggy for us. We're not used to humidity at all, so. I think most people here prefer it to just not rain and be dry. <laughs> For me, it's like, I don't care either way. Kind of having the humidity is, I mean, the moisture is nice for my garden, but on the other hand, since we never do have it, I have my sprinkler set to go on about four times a day. So um, I don't, then I just have to, if it actually rains here, I have to adjust my sprinklers so our plants don't get mildew. I had a friend stop and visit me that I hadn't seen in a long time from high school. We went to school from first grade all the way through high school. She's a really good friend. So that was fun. All right. I think she brought her new little, I think it's a schnauzer. I think she got a schnauzer puppy. It was awfully cute. He was very new puppy. He didn't even know what plants were hardly because he was running around sniffing, wondering. <laughs> what what the plants were didn't know what they were and at first I was a little concerned because I wanted to make sure that they he wasn't going to get into any poisonous ones I'm marking where you can see there's a on the wheel there is a um, there's an opening so that where you're you know you're going to see where to put your wheelbarrow but um, since we're putting these wheels together I just want to put them right. So I'm going to put a little mark where this opening is. And that one, actually, where did I lose that other one? I know there were four. I cut four out and I flipped it. There it is. Sheesh. It flew out of my hand. Okay. So now I'm going to just put some glue here and stick these together where the, where that is. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's just that I'd like it to be close. Okay, so we've got that like that. And this one. that. Oh, I've got that fan on me, but I'm sweating. I'm going to look 
really messed up when the camera goes back up. It's going to be like, well, I wonder what I'm going to look like now. It's always the, how much curl do I have left in my hair? How red is my face? And how, <laughs> today it's going to be, how sweaty do you look? Because I'm pretty, pretty, getting pretty warm. I think this is dry. So now you can see you've got all this extra here. And I'm just going to cut that away. Not all. I don't want to cut the box. So now you've got this cute little wheelbarrow box. I like your idea, Freddie. I should have done that, but I didn't. Now you can see my wheat, my box is just a tad bit bigger than I wanted it to be. You can just snip, snip, snip and make it a little smaller, but you know, just out of the sake of rushing and getting done here, I'm going to just stick these on. so we can get this little box done and get on with other things because I don't want to take a long time with it. All right, so there's that. And there. And this one on this side. Oops, I put, I put the glue on the wrong side. Oh my goodness. This is why I did the reverse, you ding dong. Okay, we'll let you dry and we'll stick you on instead. Uh -huh. Okay, there we go. So you want your box to not be bigger than your real barrel. You see how it's not sticking out there? Well, this one kind of is a little bit. I should have made it just a tad bit shorter. But anyhow, my box was three inches by two and a half. So maybe if you go three inches by two and a quarter, it's gonna be a little bit safer for lengthwise. All right, now we'll stick that on there. And it's sticky, because I got the glue on the wrong side and it's still, still sticky, but it will work anyway. Um, mm, I'm gonna have a little trouble with my wheel because my wheel still has to fit in there and it's just barely going to because my box is too big. Uh-oh. That could be a problem, but we will see. All right, so we're going to stick as close as it is. You would theoretically think you could just stick this right in here. But um not quite. It doesn't quite quite work. So I'm going to go ahead and stick Glue here and glue there. And one on one side and one on the other. Oops, I want the little part there, there. Okay. Stay in there. Wah. Wah. Ooh. There we go, finally. All right, so there's your little wheelbarrow. And you could take your scissors and snip, snip, and trim around so it looks a little bit better. All right? Oh, and, I, and as I worked, that shifted. <laughs> Rats. Oh, well. Oh, well, oh, well. If I wanted it to look better, I could redo it, and it would look a little bit better. But it's actually pretty cute, even as is. So for your little gardening friend, I don't know, you could put something in here. I don't know what, but something. I didn't have a chance to get to the store and find something cute. But I thought it was a cute little box to put something in. You can tell me what would be a good thing to put in there. All right, so the next thing we're going to do, this little card, this is cute. We've got some paper that is um, called, and this is in our new catalog that's coming out tomorrow. Hi, Michelle. It's good to see you. Oh, my Aunt Connie. It's nice to see you guys. Um, this is the Gildum, Gilded Autumn Specialty designer paper. Oh, it's really pretty. I love it. Let me show it to you. Oh, let me get some glue off my hands first. They're pretty glued up at the moment. 
Michelle, I was so jealous looking at your pictures of your trip over to the Oregon coast. It looked so beautiful. And those bunnies. Oh, those bunnies were so cute. Oh, seeds. Michelle, that was a great idea. In fact, I had a packet of seeds that I could have put in there. That would be good. Although, they might fall out. <laughs> you might have to put them in a, like a little... Oh, like if you took... Um, if you took one of our little glitter containers or something, you could probably stick that in there. Anyway, seeds is a really good option, though. So, we've got, for this paper, you've got this really lovely gold, it's, you know, gilded. It's, it's vanilla, but it's got this gilded um, acorn and maple and oak leaves. Oh, actually, those are probably all oak leaves, except for that one. I don't know what that one is. Oh, that's a maple leaf. That's an oak leaf. I don't know what that one is. And then there's um, this. They're just really pretty. I love the colors. This is sort of, um, this is gilded. I think you can tell that. This is gilded. I love this. Little pumpkins and gourds. Okay, has a nice speckle on the back. So there are just several sheets that are just fabulous. Another one that's gilded. So that's why they call it specialty designer series papers because it's not just pretty paper like normal. It also has gilded or something going on it. Oh, I like those stripes. I've seen a lot of cards made with these already and I'm, I'm really looking forward to making a whole bunch. Oh, chocolate, Linda. Yeah, chocolate always looks good, or is good. It's a good gift for anything. I think this is my favorite print of this set. It's really good. Okay, so I think that's it. I don't think I missed a sheet. What's that one? Nope, that's the same one. All right, so I'm just gonna make this little card. And I've already kind of got some stuff on the side for it. So let me get, get it all out here so that it doesn't take too long. I knew that wheelbarrow would take a while. So let me move you out of the way, wheelbarrow. All right, so what I did is I just cut, this is four and a quarter by five and, or by 11, pool party. And then this, let me get my, uh, ruler out is probably four inches but just to make sure sometimes I do stuff a little bigger yes yeah, so four inches by five and a quarter so we're just gonna glue that on top first and I hate put covering up that gold that gold whenever I see paper with gold on it I hate putting it on the downside but this one's pretty cute on this side so we'll do it anyway okay there we go all right and then this is our tied no plaid tidings pack it's a whole pack of plaid and this is one of those sheets so i just have i just um i took the leftovers i cut this corner off so this this corner is bigger this one's a little bit skinnier because it's just a different angle but um I am going to just use that and not, it's not going to have exactly the same angle, but it's close, close enough. Put the um, seeds in a little baggie or something. Yeah, that's a great idea, Michelle. I should have done that. I should have got something in there. I didn't think about it until actually of starting. I was thinking, oh no, I forgot. I was going to go to the store really quick and get something to put in here and I forgot. But that's okay. All right, this is the part that's really cool for this card. I'm gonna use um, the, um, this, this is one of our Forever Greenery, I think, or, oh no, it's our Wrapped in Texture. There's a two pack, and this is the skinny one. I know I've shown it before, but um, anyway, that's what I'm gonna do, just a strip of that. So let's grab a piece of Fool Party and my cutting board if i can find it where did you go and i'm gonna just cut like a oh this is probably about a like a half inch strip but i'm gonna do a three quarter inch because i want to make sure that it's long it's wide enough okay so that'll be fine oops all right let me put this up again so you can see me 
put this through the embossing folder. All right, so let's see. We're going to use this plate and this blue plate. So just slide this in here. Since it's going at an angle across the card front, it has to be longer than just, um, you know, uh, your, your standard length card size. And I only needed to run it through once. I'm just doing that because my desk isn't big enough to shove it out through the other way. So I'm going to just go ahead and stick this piece in here and finish it out because it's going to need to be a little longer than that. That might not have gone through all the way. There we go. Okay, make sure I got it the right way. Yeah, you can see there's a little line, but it's not it's not that big a deal. Okay, so I'm gonna put this down again. Oh, I'm rolling on my paper. Let me move that out of the way. All right, pieces, where did you go? I shoved you around and now I don't know where you went to. There you are. All right, so we're gonna just put this on here like this. I'm gonna just glue it on and then trim the edges. So it's just, just kind of making a little, instead of a ribbon, you know, you could do a ribbon, but I am not doing a ribbon this time. I love doing ribbons, but once in a while I get a little bit tired of. You like the tied that yeah that I do too, Trudy. The tied plaid tidings. Yes, that's what it is. I really like it. It's super pretty. That texture on that this card is just I love that. It's really pretty. Um if we had a pool party ribbon that you know, was similar, I would probably have used the ribbon, but I didn't want anything necessarily soft for that. So there we go. So there's your little faux ribbon. And now we're gonna stamp our, let's do our, I did on this one, I just use, a, use the largest stitched oval, but the, I happen to have this. This is um, Cajun Craze, and this is a, um, um, are stitched, what is it, stitched all around, I think, Cajun Craze, and then this is actually the center from one of the woven heirloom dies, the frame, the woven heirloom frame dies. That's what this middle pool party piece is, and then this is our layered circle. So let's go ahead and um, I'll take that one off first because that one needs to be stamped before I stick it on, and then... We'll just glue this together. I, I'm so I'm just using it because I have it on hand. I kind of prefer just the simple, but this looks cute too. I, I do really like that die. It's just it's a little fussier of a die, so I typically not don't use it as much. We're gonna use that. Um, all things. This is a really good one for the times. Good, encouraging for us. All good things come from above. Very true. And um, I'm really grateful that God's in control of everything that's happening right now because I still do believe that a lot of good things are, com are coming. The reason the enemy's working so hard right now to use people who are willing to be doing evil things, the reason he's working so hard is because he knows he's lost. And um, his little minions are all really eager, too, to make everybody suffer as much as they possibly can. But... Um, Good things come from above, and good always prevails. All right, so that was our pretty peacocks on the side, so I have room for all of those wonderful, bountiful blessings of that pumpkin, wheat sheaves, all of that. I saw on Babylon B today, Dr. Fauci uh, is recommending that we all encase ourselves in bubble wrap. <laughs> I thought bubble wrap, that sounds good. That sounds like um, very plausible. All right, now I'm gonna take a piece of Whisper White. 
and we will do a little bit of stamping, but just a little bit. So there's the little wheat sheaf, so cute. And let's use some Cajun craze. Okay, so we'll do Cajun craze right there. Pretty, I love it. So nice. And then let's do the pumpkins. I do have other pumpkin stamps, but I like this one. This is a good one. It's a good grouping and it's the perfect size. And the best thing about it is it has a die. It has a die that I can cut it out and it looks great and I don't have to be doing all this fussy cutting. All right. So let's grab those pens. These are our blending pens. And I think I'm gonna just use a little bit of So Saffron. And let's start with the light one. I think that light one will do. And I'm just gonna put in, just gonna put in a little bit of color. I, it doesn't matter if I color it all or not, it's fine. I would be a little more careful if I wasn't rushing. And then for this, we want to get our little corn silk. This is our little dried corn husk silk. And how about a couple of pumpkins or a gourd or two? Just put that in there. So you can do whatever colors you want. It's going to look beautiful. I, I want to stay with our color theme, but our color theme is just pool party and um, Cajun craze or or cinnamon. You could use your cinnamon cider, maybe for your your pumpkin stems. Okay, or and let's use it for the basket. Okay, and did, is there another stem I'm missing? I guess not. Let's see. How about? Um, some pool party. Is that what you are? Yes. All right. So this is the light pool party. I'm going to just go over all those pumpkins and maybe, maybe we'll throw a little bit of it on a gourd or two. Maybe a little bit of darker because that was pretty light on the bottom. Oh, maybe a little on the corn. You know, the corn, uh, Indian corn has like lots of colors in it, doesn't it? Okay, and then I am gonna take um, a little bit of uh, petal pink. Let's start with the light one, just to see if we can get something a little bit other than just pool party. Let's try the dark one. Just want to get a little more than just pool party on those pumpkins. Um, those pumpkins that you find, the Cinderella ones, that that have kind of a gray overcast to them, then some blue like this. I think they usually have gray in them, but I don't really want to introduce gray into this scheme, so we'll just leave it as that. And what's is this my pool party again yes oh good because I should have gotten some leaves while I were here I was here now you're not gonna see leaves this color but oh well we're doing it anyway you can make your leaves any color you want to and a little bit of pumpkin okay we'll put a little pumpkin in there maybe some real pumpkins in here with Real pumpkin color. Seems like I missed something here. Maybe some in the corn, huh? Okay, my pumpkins are looking pretty pale. So let's do, let's make them just a little darker. I don't want them to be, I don't want them to look like they're sick or anything, although maybe they do. <laughs> It looks fine once you get it on the card. It does look a little sick, like right like this, but once you get it on the card, it's fine. I'm rattling a lot on the side here as I roll my stuff in and out of this. Okay, get a little more yellow in there. Maybe that'll help. I don't know. I'm not liking it as well as the other, and I, I can see why. Because I put some, I think having a real orange pumpkin instead of both those pumpkins being so 
artsy, I think maybe was a benefit. So let's let's do that. Let's make you more of a real real pumpkin. Maybe that'll help. Maybe you too. Okay, there. I think that helps. We'll see. All right. Now we're going to cut it out. And that one will be done. Okay, we'll put that up. Let's make some space. And I don't want to ruin my label. Let's move that. Right, where are you? There's the sheaf. Get that lined up, hopefully correctly. And this is the pumpkin. I'm not sure if you'll stay, but let's see if you will. There you go. Cut those out. Oops, my paper's off the side. Hopefully that didn't shift too much. All right, look at that. So cute. All right. Now, we'll grab our card back out here. And we'll put this here. We're going to stick that there. We're going to stick that there. And that is going to be done and then I can get on to one more the last one's going to be pretty oh we want to use dimensionals on that I don't want to glue that down so let's see where are those dimensionals let's start with the with this so we're gonna put put one there and one there Oops. Okay, like about. Oh, I didn't put my label on. I thought I had. <laughs> Stick you on quick before I have trouble here. Okay. There we go. Now the label's on. And then we'll put our little pumpkins on. I think we'll just stick with one's on the bottom of the pumpkin. I'm not even going to worry about the little dimensionals. Normally I would probably put little dimensionals here on the top. Maybe I better. Let's see. Do I have a mini here somewhere? I think I have a mini. Oh, you're way up here. Let me move you down. I think I have a mini that will work on our little pumpkin. Right there. Okay, there we go. And we can stick you. You just don't want to, you know, cover up all your words. All right, there we go. So there's that card. All things come from above. Very cute. Let me move that on the side over here. And lastly, 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 we do get a ribbon in here. Now this technique is one that I saw on a card on Pinterest and I forget who did it. Um, and I don't even remember what stamp set she was using, but it was a really cute idea. So I'm using the same um, embossing folder. So this is the wrapped in texture one. And I think it is, it's part of a pack. Do you guys know which pack this this is from, I, I was thinking it was the Forever Greenery, but then later I was thinking, eh, it can't be. But I'm going to just slide that in here. This is um, just that you know what it is. This is a, your standard four and a quarter across, four and, um, oh, or an 11 inch, you know, card. Uh, this is two and three quarters by five and a half. So. We're going to just stick this in the folder and emboss it. Okay. So slide that out. Slide that in. And one of the nice things about those textured ones is that you do not have to be so super exact. You see the lines are 
they are, you know, dement they're going up and down and they're very even, but because it's sort of like a, oh, you know, basket weave, it, it can be off a little bit and it, it won't look too crooked. So that's helpful. I took ju uh, just this pool party and um, again, four and a quarter by 11. And then what I'm gonna do is just glue a piece of this DSP. This is just about one inches on the card. Just leaving a little border here. Okay. Actually, do I have, I do. Maybe instead of doing that, I'm gonna cut I am going to cut another piece that's going to be my my top here because I want to wrap my ribbon around it. I don't really want to wrap it around that. So let me try that again. Let me do a um, piece of, um, we'll go four and a quarter and see if this is five and a half. It is pretty close. It might be a little larger, but that's fine. And we will work on this piece, okay? So let me just apply my glue again. I'm going down a little farther with that glue than I probably needed to, but that's okay. I just want to leave a little bit of a border on the side. And then we'll let that dry. And then this is another piece of our plaid tidings. It's the same, just using up that sheet that I already was working on for that other card. Just a good way to use up your scraps. Just stick them on your card. Okay. I saw also on Babylon Bee, now this is a good one. Police, um, Portland Police, are offering um, or are raising, they're raising millions <laughs> by um, letting citizens throw, um, throw tear gas at Antifa for $5 a, sh a shot. <laughs> um, they would raise a whole lot of money if they did that. And when I read that one to Jeff, because he thought that was pretty funny, um, he said, how much would they offer for rubber bullets? <laughs> He would be happy to pay whatever the price was to be able to fire off the rubber bullets. Okay, oops, I lost my scissors. Let's grab another pair. So let's cut off those ends there. Okay, and get rid of the scraps. All right, now we are ready for this piece. Now before I cut this one, or lay it on there. Oops, I missed my little edge. That's okay. I'm going to live with that. I'll put that on the bottom. I What I want to do is cut out, I want to use the die to cut this out. So our pumpkin is actually, instead of being raised, we normally do it raised. I thought this was very clever though, to put it down, like right on it. To so see where I need my pumpkin though, I have to cut it out first. So I'm going to bring out the this thing again you're kind of going up and down up and down and I'm going to place this here I'm going to put oh I want the pump it doesn't really matter you can just make it however you want it can go in farther it can go in less whatever you want it just needs to be in enough that it's going to be you know, not off the card when you stick your pumpkin through there. And the one problem about doing this is that it is going to flatten out my embossing slightly. So if you wanted to wait and do your embossing after this, you could, because it does flatten it out. And you can, you know, since that did happen and I just flattened it out, you can stick it back in your folder. It's just, it's a not, it's not a good idea because you do this too many times. I'm not going to get it like right on the right spot. So, but I kind of flub that other edge up anyway. So that's why I'm thinking, eh, I'll just do it again anyway. But you could cut it first and then do it. And then you probably have better results. 
All right, very good. Looks good. Might have broken down the fibers a little extra, but it still looks like it's doing pretty well. All right, so we're going to stick this right on top like this. Oops, I want to put my acorns on the other side. I kind of wanted them on the other side. And then I am just, I think I am going to put dimensionals on here because um, then it's just going to raise it up nicely. We're going to need to use a bunch. So be patient as we do it. I saw on Babylon B that Biden had selected Aunt Jemima for his running mate. <laughs> and I thought, well, you know what? If Aunt Jemima was alive, she would say no. <laughs> Uh, no, thank you. There are a few people that would say no, thank you. He, there, he's been very interesting. So let me see what other ones did I come up with for him. There were a whole bunch for him because he's just like, he's like the perfect um, Johnny Carson, uh, Jay Leno, Saturday night uh, material. The fact that people aren't making fun of him is just ridiculous because there's so much to make fun of. It's sad, sad, but that's not uh, my problem. It's the Democrats' problem for coming up with such a poor candidate. Joe, so Joe Biden supposedly said, again, this is all Babylon Beast, pretend, okay? I'm just a regular guy. I put my pants on one arm at a time. Now that's something I might actually say because Sometimes the brain does go, but you don't want, you're not hiring me to be a president, right? So that would be why uh, we don't want him. You don't want to hire somebody like me to do that, that job. I did see also on Babylon B that Hobby Lobby has just started a new program called Hubby Daycare. <laughs> And I thought that was brilliant. You could ha if, if give him some beer and um, a game to watch on TV, but like an old game since there aren't any. And then he also these days isn't going to watch one anyway because they can't stand for the anthem. So it would have to be an old game, right? I did see that um, also that um, for uh, the hockey games, the they have renamed their skirmishes. And um, so ho when there's a, a hockey game skirmish now, it's called, um, it's called a peaceful, a peaceful something. <laughs> I forget now what it was called, but I <laughs> thought that's pretty good. Hockey game has a peace, a peaceful, um, I don't know, something breaks out. All right, I'm going to get that. Oh, I'm getting it on there, but not quite. Oh, oh good. Got it. Whew, that was close. All right, so you stick that on there. And now on our white, we're going to just do that pumpkin one more time. Same pumpkin that we did before. It does have other stamps, but I like this pumpkin. And this time, let's do it with... Um, Tuxedo Black Memento. Okay. Well, let's stamp you right there. Cute, cute, cute. All right. And then I think um, CNN apologized. They had to apologize to... That... Um, they had actually compared Stalin and Mao, you know, they'd compared Trump to Stalin and Mao. But, and so they were apologizing, but t surprisingly they were not apologizing to President Trump. Um, they were apologizing to Stalin and Mao. <laughs> I thought that was a good one too. All right, this time my pumpkins are gonna be a little more pumpkin-y. I don't want them to be quite so anemic looking. I think those other ones were anemic looking. So I'll follow what I did in my card over there on the side. Let's do a little bit of orange on the leaves. I 
think I just got tired and just decided to do all the leaves orange. And I did these orange too. Hmm. Yeah, definitely a sign that I just got tired of coloring and started to just do one <laughs> color. All right, and that one, oh, I did this one that way too. It actually looks pretty good, so I'm going to just stick with it. But I realized at that point that I can't color it all orange. So I did bring in our other colors. Let's go with dark, dark pool party this time. I think, um, I think I might like that better. I'm going to put a little more in the corn. I kind of liked that. And a little bit there, a little bit there. I'll keep you out because I'm probably going to need you. How about some bronze? Now, I always really like bronze for baskets. But our, I do really like our cinnamon. The cinnamon cider is great addition to our browns. In fact, let's get it out. That's a little bit dark. Cinnamon cider, where are you? You are not cinnamon cider. Do I have you out already? Huh. There you are. All right, cinnamon cider. We'll do you for this leaf. You see, isn't that a nice brown? It's just a really nice brown. All right, so let's put a little bit of brown in the pumpkin, too. And then I'll use this lighter pool party and try to blend that a little bit. And put those together again. And then our so, so saffron. We'll finish it off with so saffron. It's my friend for autumn apparently doing a lot of so saffron okay there we go cut that one out and we are almost done okay where is that die there you are all right let me put you up again and I'm going to put the plates on, get the pumpkin cut out, very cute. I am looking forward to um, autumn already. It, at this time of the year in my garden, everything's getting a little bit faded and it's hot and I don't spend any time out there, yet there's stuff growing and I need to have things pruned. And then I, you know, see a weed here and there and know that they're growing like crazy. And ah, this time of the year, because it's hot and I'm not spending time out there anyway much, like I'm getting like tired of it and want it to just be autumn. All right. Okay, so we're almost done. Now that we've got that cut out, I'm going to just put glue on this. Now we're gonna just glue that right onto the card. Oops, I want glue on that little guy. Now my glue's gonna ooze a tiny bit unless I knock some of that off. So let me, let me grab a little scrap. Just get a little of that off because that I kind of overdid it there. And then you just wanna shove it in there. Don't let it get glued onto your your folder at all. Get it in there. There. All right. Very cute. Did I have, I've got glue all over my hands still. Now, we're going to take our label. This is just a stitched square and put our little saying, which is. Let's find it here. Golden leaves, chilly air, autumn beauty everywhere. Cute. Cute, cute, cute. Now, I can use this, I think, as a birthday card even. Okay, I think, I 
think I could say happy birthday in that and I and that'll work for an autumn birthday. And we want to put this on a piece of pretty peacock. And I could just um, get a stitched, you know, a larger stitch square out. I think I might have one, but I might have to get a layering square. And I'm not going to do that. I'm going to just snip, snip, snip around here with my scissors and try to do a straight line. for speed's sake. And I didn't want to use, this is not um, Stampin' Up! ribbon that I have. I just, ribbon I happen to have on hand that I like. It's brown. I look for brown ribbons. When I can find a f uh, pretty, pretty brown, um, you know, especially an organdy ribbon. This one's not that, but it's still, it's got pretty little edges. I'm not, I'm running out of it though. <laughs> I use it a lot. So here's our old pretty, this is Tranquil Tide. It's the same color as, and, um, and I thought, well, Tranquil Tide, you're, you're pretty. And I do really love our copper. This copper ribbon is so pretty. Hmm. So I was thinking maybe, maybe I can use this. So let's see if what, what happens. Let's see what happens if I try to do a ribbon with both of these together. I'm not sure how successful that's gonna be. It's pretty slippery for one thing. It does fit right in the center. It would be pretty, I could apply some tape or glue or something, but I'm gonna just kinda, I'm gonna wing it here and see what happens. Now my copper, I cut it shorter, so. I don't know, we'll see what happens. See what happens. I'm not sure that I even like it, but um, I do much prefer this ribbon. Hmm. Yeah, not liking that at all. And I don't think I can improve it. And it's the um, it's this ruched ribbon that's the issue. So instead of that, I am going to just use my ruched ribbon just to wrap around this okay so let's see let's grab a dimensional and we'll stick you on there and then we'll just stick this card on let's let's not um, let's do that let's grab one more I want to make sure that stays there okay and then let's try Let's try just doing ribbon with this, a bow. We'll stick that on it and see what that looks like. All right, what do you think? I think I'm gonna like that better. I think that will be okay. So we'll go like that. We'll snip, snip your ends down. Okay, and then we'll stick you on with a little dimensional on the side. There, oops, I got a second one stuck to my finger. Get off. I'll stick you on the back. Now, it won't leave my finger. It's like, it wants to be part of me. All right. All right, I'm almost done, I promise, I promise. All right, here we go. There's a bow and our little tag. And then we'll get it on the card and we'll be all finished. All right, so you all have a wonderful week and stay inside if it's hot or if it's raining and going nuts outside, you'll wanna stay inside. And preferably that'll all pass over you quickly without any damage to anybody or anything. All right, that right there. So tomorrow our catalog goes live, remember, um, in the morning at seven o'clock on Eastern time. And 
it um, for our customers, for those of us who are demonstrators, we are going to still be able to order until around midnight um, or thereabouts. Tonight is actually going to be midnight mountain time, so it'll be 11 o'clock my time. And for you east eastern seaboard people, it'll be... Um, what would that be? You guys are later, right? <laughs> I always get the time zones mixed up. What you would be. Ah, my dimension. This, does this happen to you? I have a lot of issues with dimensionals just because they stick to me as they're coming off the, the thing. <laughs> Get on there. All right, now this is the tricky part for me is just getting the card back on. That's why I rarely do it this way. Once, once I can... Once I'm ready to apply it to my card, I ugh, just rare that it gets on there exactly the way I want it. And then I end up trimming it, having to trim my card. You come off there. All right. That and that. All right, there we go. Ooh. Now, let's see here. What's the best way to do it? Let's line up this edge like that. And there we go. Actually did it perfectly. That was kind of surprising because usually on camera it doesn't go well. Oh, that was good. Very good. I like that. Very cute. All right. Thank you so much for watching me. I'm going to flip the camera around. Hopefully I didn't shut. Hey, that fan helped. I don't look as bad as I normally do. <laughs> All right. So um, don't forget that was our... Let me shut my case so that I don't lose everything out of it. That was our autumn goodness set it's really cute and so get ready to order that tomorrow if you're a demonstrator already um don't forget we'll be able to pre-order the uh the the cutting machine um that that's coming out that'll be nice the embossing cutting machine so it'll be hopefully a better version than the one you just saw me using and uh We'll be able to do that. So for those of you who aren't demonstrators, you might want to think about it. You get a 20 or 25%, 20% off discount to start with. And, um, and that's very helpful when you're buying a big thing, especially like that cutting thing. So anyhow, um, you have a wonderful week. And uh, thank you again for watching. Thank you for sharing. And thank you for checking out my webpage. And I've got YouTube. Uh, um, when you do any of that, when you go to... The YouTube channel or um, the web page especially for YouTube make sure you subscribe to it um, if you like like to view these this that way um, and in the future maybe I'll put some other videos but those are actually just all copies of what you're seeing here so if you're on Facebook already then you probably don't need to do YouTube too but you can and um, I appreciate your subscribing to it because it always makes our you know the numbers go up and then you just get out more so it's very helpful and, um, and let's see, anything else? I don't think so. I think everything is good. So we're good and looking forward to going down. We're going to get to go see our new granddaughter. She was just born this last week. And um, Jeff and I are going to go take a little trip to see her. So that'll be really fun. And uh, so next week, I don't know. I, I'm going to plan to be here and, uh, and all, but I'm not sure what it'll be like. All right. We'll talk to you later. Thanks again. Bye.